afternoon, everybody. Actually, it's morning still. Um, God Dear Pops here. Another amazing video for you guys. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. Give this video a like. Leave a comment. I appreciate the comments so much. Um, if you want to share this video, that would be awesome too. Like I always say, if you do all those things, your life will be complete. I guarantee it. So yeah, I hope that you guys watched yesterday's video or my last video because it was awesome. Um, it was probably my favorite video that I've made and <laughs> I've, I've watched it like four or five times because the moment where that sorter opened up and I saw what was in it, it was like the best Christmas present ever. Like that feeling, I'm still enjoying the feeling of that moment. It was just amazing. Like. I hope that everybody gets to experience that someday when you pull the top grail out of a mystery box. Now there's, you know, there's a lot of mystery boxes that I buy where the top grail is really cool and it would be fun to win. Most of the ones that I would get, I would turn around and sell because I only collect certain things. But the fact that the top grail in this box was a personal grail of mine it just it just blows me away and the comments that people left on that video I really really appreciated how excited people were for me because I collect Batman Pops and I let's just share this At the Emerald City Comic Con Emerald Chrome Batman. This one is actually the Funko Shop one. Was shared with that, and for whatever reason, this one's actually worth more than the one that actually has the con sticker. So, obviously, this is a spoiler. So, <laughs> ah, just so amazing. What's crazy? Is I did kind of rearrange my little wall right here. These six pops right here, actually this this whole little section of nine pops is worth around eight hundred dollars. <laughs> it's just crazy. So yeah, so people have talked to me and they said that I got one of my grails and I did. Um, I compiled a list of my top grails. That one is actually number five. I'm going to show you the other four. Number four is the Batman Patina, not the one that Gemini just released, but the one that's been around for a few years. That one is amazing. I would love to get that one. Um, there are two Freddy Funkos dressed as Batman. One's a standard one, which is awesome. And that would be number three in my list of grails. Number two is the Freddy Funko Batman Black, which is also just amazing. And my number one grail, which is actually value-wise a little bit less than that black Freddy Funko, is the silver Batman. Just amazing. That dude is $2,000. So if any of you that watch my videos are extremely rich and you have some money to burn and you want to show some support for my channel by donating one of those, I would be totally happy with that. <laughs> so yeah I'm still riding a high from that 
uh, just what an amazing feeling amazing my glasses are a little bit smudged I've been crying so much with tears of joy anyway so that was awesome I thought I was going to get my mystery box from Tom's Pops today but apparently he thinks he might have shipped it USPS ground instead of priority which sucks because it's not that much of a difference in price for the shipping but the time that it takes for the USPS ground to arrive compared to the priority mail is substantial so hoping that that arrives tomorrow because tomorrow is my Sunday and I really, really like opening up boxes on my days off and ironically the three Casey's Toys mystery boxes that I ordered will also be arriving tomorrow and it's going to drive me absolutely crazy because I can't open them I'm doing a live stream with three of my buddies derping with Derek Dr. Poppenstein and Wink Inc. Alex um, we're gonna be collaborating on a mystery box challenge hopefully this weekend we're still working on the arrangement of how to schedule it but yeah hopefully Saturday or Sunday I'm gonna be doing my first live stream with those guys not sure how that's gonna go but I'm ready and I hope one of us wins because these were $20 mystery boxes and the top prize is a planet Arlia Arlia Vegeta right there and that dude is worth about $2300 so we're hoping that my luck box rolls on and see how that goes but yeah that was just so awesome guys go watch that video it was cool now my sub train is rolling along really really slowly and that's whatever but I really really want to get to the 250 sub mark so that I can do my giveaway um, the top prize is gonna be that the office prison mic which is a pretty cool pop and my buddy Curtis at Spastic Collectibles which is where I got that Batman um, he's helping out with the prize he's gonna be giving the second place winner a $20 gift code to be used on his website so some cool stuff just need to get I think we're at 238 so we're 12 away shouldn't be that hard but it seems to be for whatever reason so, if you guys want to help out, get the word out, uh, tell your friends to come sub, that'd be cool. So, oh, I forgot to mention, I'm pretty sure that the intro that you guys saw at the beginning of this is going to be a little bit different than my previous ones. I'm still working on that, trying to get it super cool. Also, speaking of my logo, I'm going to have some stickers arriving this Friday, I believe. So, you'll also get some God Dear Pop swag in the top prize if you win. So, that's cool. And uh, moving forward, um, I might be giving those away as prizes. We'll see not sure I only got 10 of them because sticker mule has that amazing deal oh also let's give a shout out to sticker mule because of that amazing deal you got a logo you see it on the Instagram feed all the time get 10 stickers for a dollar you click on that you upload your photo they provide a proof that you approve and boom one dollar free shipping 10 stickers it looks amazing I'm super excited maybe it'll show up right here I don't know so yeah the box 
I think I covered everything. Oh, one really exciting thing. I am bidding on a pop online right now. I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want anybody to go and try to bid on it. But I think I'm going to win. And it's going to be awesome. So that'll be a fun video. And then as you know, I am buying my first collection from my mailman. I'm buying my mailman's collection. And I'm going to be picking that up on Sunday. So that means on my days off, I'm going to be doing numerous videos. I don't want to do it all in once because there's 25 pops in this collection. Yeah, it's a small collection, but there's some really, really cool stuff in this collection. So I'm going to break it up into pieces. Because if I do a 25 box or 25 pop unboxing video, it'll be like, I mean, you know how I ramble. It's going to be, it would be a three or four hour video. And ain't nobody got time for that. You know, most people only watch like five to ten minutes of my videos, which is whatever. Um, they're the ones that like to see the mystery box opening. They don't like to hear all this preamble and stuff. That's cool. I appreciate them, but the ones that I appreciate the most are the ones that, for whatever reason, enjoy watching my entire video. I can understand because I like watching my entire video. You never know when I'm going to say something crazy. I mean, the fact that I laugh at some of my videos that I watch might just be that I'm weird, but <laughs> it's cool. So... Today's box, Pop Couple, who I love watching their videos, they're hilarious, I like their interaction. They posted on Instagram last week about, is anybody up for doing a mystery box challenge? Well, I'm not participating in that mystery box challenge. But this is the, uh, the Bands for Arms, $10.99 spring mystery box. Now this company down in Anaheim, California, they are founded to support the military. They also support the Girl Scouts. They get a lot of donations of some insanely amazing Funko Pops. And they normally make mystery boxes that they sell in store. And then they also have these Easter egg things in store that you can buy, which are really cool. Um, yeah, the, the top holes in their different contests are just amazing. There was like nine different pops that they posted in a picture for this particular one. There's a Freddy Funko. There was a Boba Fett. There was a Rex. Um, there was a bank robber Joker, which is really freaking cool. And ironically, one of the other ones was the actual... Con stickered Emerald Colonel Batman. How weird would it be if I pulled that out of this box? But yeah, so they are supporters of the military. Uh, I saw one post. I mean, there is tons of posts about this. But I saw one post and one post only that said that this particular run of 300 boxes, a lot of boxes, was specifically in support of Operation Gratitude. Now, I think it's important for people like me that are providing content to let you guys know information about things like that. So I looked up Operation Gratitude, and their mission is to forge strong bonds between Americans and their military and first responder heroes through volunteer service projects, acts of gratitude, and meaningful engagements in communities nationwide. How they do it is every year, Operation Gratitude sends 300,000 or more individually addressed care packages to soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and Coast Guard, Coast Guardsmen deployed overseas to their children left behind and to first responders, new recruits, veterans, wounded heroes, and their caregivers. Each package contains snacks, hygiene products, entertainment, and handmade items, as well as personal letters of support. 
through collection drives, letter writing campaigns, craft projects, and care package assembly events, Operation Gratitude provides civilians anywhere in America a way to say thank you through active, hands-on volunteerism. Each package contains donated products valued between $45 and $100 and costs the organization $15 to assemble and ship. So, that's cool. I can get on board with that, which, you know, is kind of what I'm doing. So, yeah, so $10.99 plus shipping it ended up being about $16. Bucks. Ah, my throat was getting a little scratchy there. Um, yeah, 300 boxes, so obviously the majority of them are going to be commons. They did post pictures of the big wall of different pops. There's some Batmans, which would be cool, but I'm really hoping for that bank robber Joker or another one of those emerald chrome Batmans, because why not? Um, yeah. Probably just common, and that's all right. But we're about to find out. Let's hope that's something amazing. Like, that would be so cool to get back-to-back -to -back top poles. Uh, so I got... A little bands for arms package thing. I don't know what this is all about. Oh, that's cool. A little camouflage band for my arm. I didn't know that that was going to be coming in this. And there is. Oh, okay. So Bands for Arms, the name of the service member who donated their uniform to create this was Mr. Mendoza III, owner B4A. He served in the U.S. Navy. He's from Orange, California. He served for 10 years, and his hobbies and interests are comic sketching. So, that's really cool. I didn't know that I was going to get that. Um... That's pretty cool. I really appreciate that a lot, to be honest. That was a nice gesture. I will display that proudly on my wall of photographs. Cool, dude. I appreciate that. Alright, so we got some uh, confetti. I don't know if that indicates something good, because it is wrapped in bowl wrap. Uh, yeah. Alright. Lots of confetti stuff in there. So I can see the pop, but I don't know what it is. It's not the Emerald Chrome Batman, and it's not the Bank Robber Joker. What did we get? Does it have a sticker? No. No sticker. No. <laughs> it does have a sticker. Fallout. These don't sell. This is going to be sitting on my desk forever. So a limited edition exclusive, which is cool. Maybe this is valuable. I don't know. Adamantium skeleton from Fallout. Oh, actually, you know what? I think it's Fortnite that never sells. So I retract that statement. Um, that's cool. Not one of the big ones, but it's not a super common. So let's go ahead and check out the value. Let me look at this first. I wonder if it glows in the dark. That'd be cool. Doesn't say that it does, but should. Uh, the box condition is perfect. It's like brand new. So that is adamantium skeleton. And apparently. There's four. There's a charisma, the skeleton, toughness, 
and medic. Hmm. There he is. That was our prize. Adam. All right. He's nine bucks. So, probably end up selling them for about five bucks. We'll see. How much is he going for? He hasn't sold any in the last week. Some reason somebody paid $25 for him in the last month. Yeah, so he stole the. Uh, I don't understand why somebody bought him for 25 bucks. It doesn't make sense. Maybe it was signed? I don't know. But yeah, he's selling about $5. So, whatever. So the person that sold it for $25 listed it as uh, Adamantium Skeleton Rare Grail Vaulted Glow in the Dark. This doesn't even have a date on it. It's kind of weird. Say when the release date on this thing was 2016. Chase variant from the Fallout Mystery Pops sold at Hop Topic. All right, interesting. That's what we got. I like that bracelet more than I like this pop. Just kidding. So, anyway, uh, hopefully uh, that box from Tom's Pops arrives tomorrow. Otherwise, we'll be seeing you. Well, I guess it'll probably arrive Thursday or Friday if it doesn't arrive tomorrow. So, anyway, that's it for today. We'll talk to you later. Peace.